hey y'all so we are at barnes and noble or barnes <laughs> um i'm tired y'all i'm not even gonna hold you like i'm tired i've had a busy day today that involved doctors and errands and things like that and now it is about 2 11 and i am kind of pooped but i finished reading womb city and i loved it so much that i am here to buy the hardcover i know i've looked at this a million times if you've seen my other vlogs you saw it when i first discovered it you saw when me and honey um hunt it down now i am here to get the hardcover version because um it's time like it's time for it to come out of the kindle and onto my bookshelf so i'm really excited about that so we're gonna do another solo vlog today <sighs> yeah <laughs> um so yeah let's let's go in here and see what kind of trouble we get into again i should only walk out of here with womb city so that's what i'm gonna hunt down first and then um a lot of ums today but i don't think i'm going to buy any more books because yeah but if you want to see a kindle unlimited haul um or even a libby library kind of situation let me know because that's usually where i consume books now so that's why i don't do like hauls from barnes and noble and plus barnes and noble is expensive like it's like the most expensive out of the all the places i know you can get books if you want to get affordable books in person i would suggest target because target even price matches not only to their app but also to Amazon and whatnot so there's this car creeping and I wonder what this car is doing but anyways um so yeah Target pretty much is always going to be cheaper than Barnes and Noble and they match not only to their own app but like Amazon and usually Amazon online is the cheapest place that I find the book so but Barnes and Noble they only price match to their app as far as I know so yeah so let's go hunt down Womb City again <laughs> and then let's see what else I can find so let's go on it.
excited her to do this. This is on KU. I'm excited to read this one. This is the first one. And this is the second one. Because then when I look back at the footage, I remember the books I didn't pick up or didn't write down. Like, I get to look at that stuff. And I get to, like, look in the background. Like, oh, yeah, that does look like good books. So it's like I'm book shopping twice. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this. The Other Family. Every time I say twisty, I have PTSD. Families under fire, at least it feels that way. Bank accounts have holes and explain a strange crash and partner the house at odd hours. And almost got an enigmatic artist, and the family's new runner is missing, along with the $2,500,000 of, of dirty money he was carrying. Shecky is a money launderer in Brooklyn with his beloved niece and nephew. Despite my career as an investigative analysis of New York, law enforcement Brian as bulls a tale of crime and consequence through shifting perspectives across the alleys, bodegas, and art. I don't know. Don't need to read anymore. This sounds cool. The Night Walkers. Night Workers. I'm going to see if this is on KU. Because it already sounds interesting to me. And then I came over here because I did see this one gone for good. Someone killed seven women. And some other stuff. I don't know. I will look it up <laughs> and see if it's what I want to read. How does it start? A journal entry. Do you remember the moment you realized you were going to die? That was the first sentence. Okay, we're going to look that up later. I don't know what draws me to this stuff every time I see a house and I have like a question like last time she was seen when, he, when she left him there, the last time she saw him. It, it is hot. It is hot in here. It is hot in here. It's hot in here. But we found it, y'all. We found it again because I am so glad that I read it 
on Kindle Unlimited and it's a little messed up but quite honestly it's fine because when I was looking on the app stores were beginning not to have it in person and I wanted the hardcover of this it's such a good book so if you have not read it please go do I thoroughly enjoyed it um, and then why is every book like set in or it has some kind of relation to New York or London. Can anyone answer me that? Like why? Like I, I could almost guarantee every book I pick up. It's either going to have something to do with London. Or it's going to have something to do with New York. And very rarely does it have anything to do with anything else. But I just kind of wonder that. Like why? Also, I, you guys should be so proud of me. I actually talked a little bit in the store. <laughs> yes, I had to go to the mystery um, thriller section when no one was at because I don't want people in my conversation with you guys, aka myself. So, um, yeah, I don't know how often that will be happening because I don't want to disrupt anyone else from their shopping experience. But at the same time, I don't really have too much to say like, oh, this looks cool. Maybe I'll read this, add to TBR kind of thing. So, um, but if anything catches my eye, you guys already know, I will make sure to linger on that a little bit more because Womb City caught my eye however many vlogs ago. It caught my eye and then we hunted it down again at a totally different Barnes & Noble. Um, I low-key should have bought it then, but I didn't know I was going to actually like it until... I finished reading so reading it until I finished reading it and now this is like a reward <laughs> I got to um, save 10% on it too and I was coming home with me because sometimes when you order online you really are leaving up to chance as far as what kind of condition your book comes in of course if it's crappy um, you know you can return it I think I would probably suggest though like if you order from Amazon you see how like shiny I am because it's hot and it's hot now it's 2.50. Okay, almost 3 o'clock. If, if you get order from Amazon or anywhere, I suggest that you thoroughly check through your book. Because I think one girl had ordered hidden pictures from somewhere. I'm not, I think it was Amazon maybe. <clears throat> and one of the illustration pages was ripped. And you wouldn't know until you have went and read through the book. So anytime you order a book online, just do your due diligence and pretty much go through every single page like kind of like break your book in and go through every single page just to make sure that you are within the time frame to do something about it so I have been gone legitimately since 10 o'clock this morning but I had a tornado nightmare and so that woke me up at 4 a.m. and I don't know what's with me having nightmares about tornadoes it's never happened until recently and this is like the third time. They're all kind of different. This time I was low-key surrounded by tornadoes in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what that's about. But I needed to stop because it's almost guaranteed to wake me up. So um, I am off today. Thank goodness. I think, I think I'm just going to prepare for my self-care event. Um, I also do self-care nurse coaching sessions so um, that means I provide coaching sessions because I'm a nurse to the community and I like to focus on self-care because that's really the foundation of everything else whether you advocate for yourself how you have boundaries that's like a really tough thing how do you prioritize your needs without being selfish um, how do you just have a self-care toolkit so that toolkit <laughs> when you have a self-care toolkit so then when life gets hard you have your coping mechanisms um, healthy ones to rely on and so this is something we need and utilize every single day of our lives. So I'm going to have another event. This event is going to be about journaling and breath work because sometimes people are like journaling doesn't help them. And I think sometimes it might just be what type of journaling we do. If you have an accountability partner, if you have different ways to journal, different methods of journaling. Um, or it might not or it just may not be a part of your toolkit and that's fine but I think everyone should at least try it just kind of like meditation it's always hard for people in the beginning because they think you're supposed to think nothing and that's not the case um, and you're not supposed to beat yourself up over it either so um, I want to do a workshop event on that so once I have the details I'll put it on the screen <laughs> if it hasn't already passed yet by this point um, but I'll put it on the screen and I will also let you guys know on my social media but sign up at the resilientlotus.com for any time I have an event it's always free if you sign up afterwards I will have the recording but it does have a little fee of that so make sure you sign up and if you have any questions or things you'd like to see in this next event let me know it will be virtual so no matter where you are you can join um, 
and usually like for a limited amount of time especially if you're international and you can't make it at that time I usually try to have it available for free but that's like a very short window um, so make sure you sign up get it while you can and yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. I think this has been a pretty productive and successful day. I'm gonna go home now and work on that event and then relax because I need it. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And yeah, until next time, peace.